Welcome back everyone, today we are going to be making some chloric acid. I didn't plan to film this in the first place, but I did, so here you go. For this you will need 25% barium chlorate solution and sulfuric acid. We used 14.9% sulfuric acid. We started off by adding the barium chlorate solution to a beaker, afterwards sulfuric acid was added dropwise. Any concentration of both solutions could be used, but if the chloric acid becomes too concentrated it could decompose to form chlorine dioxide, chlorine, other nasty gases and it might even explosively decompose. The reaction taking place is the following. Barium chlorate reacts with sulfuric acid to form barium sulfate which is insoluble in water and crashes out and chloric acid. We tried to get rid of the barium sulfate by performing gravity filtration but as you can see it passed right through the filter. Fortunately the barium sulfate collected at the bottom of the Erlmeyer flask. Because we didn't know how much sulfuric acid we have added yet and how much we still needed to add, we added some more. As long as there's barium sulfate crashing out of solution, we are not finished and we need to continue adding more acid. After some time no more barium sulfate crashed out and this meant that we were now finished. The counting of the layer of dilute chloric acid would be impossible. The barium sulfate is so fine that it would come right over. Although this is a very tedious process, we ended up using a glass pipette to transfer the chloric acid to this bottle. And there you go, a nice solution of chloric acid of unknown concentration. I might turn this into perchloric acid someday. If you liked today's video, make sure to drop me a like and if you don't want to miss out on further chemistry content like that, make sure to subscribe.